Hi everyone, this is the another example on correlation coefficients and regression line. This problem is very very important. See the statement. The equations of regression lines in the two variables x and y are given as 3x plus 2y minus 26 is equal to 0. This is one of the regression line and this is another regression line. Then find the mean of x and y. So you have to find out x bar and y bar. The regression coefficients of x and y. What are the regression coefficients? B y x and B x y. These both are known as regression coefficients. And finally, you have to find out the R of x y, which is known as Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient also. Okay, what is the difference between this problem and the previous problems in our chapter? In previous problems, data for x and y are given in the statement. x values and y values are provided to you in the statement. But here, x values and y values are not provided to you. Regression lines are given to you. By using these both regression lines, you have to find out these all things. Okay. Surely we will get this model in our semester examinations. So, don't leave this problem. So, first of all, write the given regression lines. Already you know that there are two types of regression lines. One is regression line of y on x and regression line of x on y. Okay. So, 3x plus 2y. You can take this negative 26 to right side you will get positive 26 and another one is 6x plus y is equal to 31 take it equation number 1 and take it equation number 2 okay so first point let x bar and y bar be the means of x and y values respectively so x bar means sum of all x values by total number of values of x sum of x by n already you know it similarly y bar is nothing but sum of y by n but here we don't have the values of x and y so we can find out x bar and y bar by using properties of regression lines see therefore by properties of regression lines if you take mean of x value which is x bar as x coordinate and uh, mean of y value which is y bar as y coordinate then this point should pass as should pass through both regression lines no doubt at all this is the property of regression lines one of the important property of regression lines x bar y bar point should satisfy this both equations because this point passes through these both lines so you will get x bar y bar should satisfy this both equations so you will get 3x bar replace x by x bar and y by y bar plus 2y bar is equal to 26 take it equation number 3 and next one 6x bar plus y bar is equal to 31 so solving above you will get we have two equations in the unknowns x bar and y bar so by solving these two equations you will get x bar and y bar we get see here we will solve this both equations by using your scientific calculator okay see here operate mode here we are observing that in the fifth point we have equation first one is unknowns are two here our unknowns are only two x bar and y bar so operate one only operate one next write the coefficients in order x bar coefficient is three is equal to two is equal to constant 26 
is equal to next coefficients of second equation 6 is equal to 1 coefficient of y bar is only 1 here is equal to constant term is 31 so I got first value is 4 which is x nothing but x bar mean of x is 4 only next again operate is equal to symbol you will get y variable value which is 7 so mean of y is 7 in this way we can get the values of x bar and y bar very very important by using the property the point x bar y bar should passes through the regression lines by using this logic we can easily find out the both x bar and y bar next we have to find out the regression coefficients see so first assume that assume that equation 1 is the regression line this is the regression line of y on x without loss of generality we can assume that first equation represents regression line of y variable on x okay so one can be written as equation number one can be written as we should express this equation y is equal to something so 2y is equal to take this 30x 3x 3x to right side you will get negative 3x already 26 is there in the right side and what is y minus 3 by 2 into x plus 26 this is the regression line of y on x don't forget it regression line of y on x should be in the form of y is equal to ax plus b that's why i'm writing in this form okay here we are observing that the coefficient of x in the right side this is called byx here byx is equal to minus 3 by 2 is called regression coefficient regression coefficient of y on x now we have to find out another regression coefficient which is bxy okay see since we are taking the first equation as a regression line of y on x i will take second equation as regression line regression line of y sorry of x on y so equation number 2 should be in the form of x is equal to a y plus b this is the general structure of regression line of x on y okay see i will write 6x is equal to take this y to right side you will get minus y already here we have plus 31 and x is equal to minus 1 by 6 into here you will get by 2 don't forget it this would be 13 i forgot it minus 1 by 6 plus 31 by 6 here we have y y variable also don't forget it so here the coefficient of y in the right side this is called bxy see regression coefficient of y on x is represented by byx here bxy is equal to minus 1 by 6 which is called which is called regression coefficient of x on y in this way we can easily find out the regression coefficients also very very easy problem don't forget it okay our second question is also completed now we have to find out r of x y here we can use a shortcut trick which is also one of the property of regression lines c so text heading to find r of x y from the properties of regression lines we know that correlation coefficient r is the geometric mean 
geometric mean of this both regression coefficients okay by x and bxy that is r is equal to root over by x into bxy so what is by x minus 3 by 2 into what is bxy minus 1 by 6 so minus into minus positive it would be 2 so root over this 3 gets cancelled twice in 6 so 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 4 so it would be 1 by 2 okay because 4 is a perfect square and root 1 is nothing but 1 what is 1 by 2 0.5 so correlation coefficient between x and y is 0 0.5 in this way we can easily find out x bar and y bar and both regression coefficients and finally correlation coefficient r okay in the next video i will give another example on this one thank you very much